What is up, everybody? Craig Severson here. And real quick, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a LinkedIn event the right way so that people can register and opt into your email list so that you can send them reminders and follow up with them after the event is over. So let me make myself small here. And I'm going to move myself to the other side because um, we need to be looking at this left-hand sidebar. So to set up your event, this is the home page of LinkedIn. You're gonna just scroll down. You see this in this tab here, you got some recents, groups. This is the one we want, events, right here. And these are all the events that you're either registered for or that you are hosting. Yours might be blank if you've never hosted an event before. What you wanna click on though, any way you look at it, is this little plus button. When you click that plus button, it brings up uh, just a template for you to fill out and create your event. And all of this, the good news is almost all of this is editable. What, what I mean by that is that you can create the event and go back and change it if you're not quite ready or you're not quite prepared for it. So things like the cover image, right? It'd be great if you came prepared with your image, just upload it, you're good to go. But uh, if you don't have it uh, right on hand, you can create your event, come back later and 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 do it, right? Change it. So here, let me point out some of the important things. You basically just have to go through this and fill it out. It is really, it's that, it's that simple. But a couple things that we want to point out. Number one is that there's this organizer button here. This one is really important. You as a personal profile cannot host an event and have people register and collect their emails. So if you want to collect emails, which is really important when you're doing lead gen on LinkedIn through an event, it has to be hosted by your business. So you, if you don't have a business page, that's a different training that we can do, but you need to go claim, create your business page so that you can host your event from your business page. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do there is click that. Now it doesn't show cause it's way down here, but when you click it to be a business, this option pops up down here, use LinkedIn registration form. And what does that mean? Is that when I click that, now people can opt in to receive communication from me. What's that mean? They're opting in to my email list, right? Through LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, when they register, it's gonna pop up and say, hey, you okay with them communicating with you when you register? And they're like, yep, good to go. And, and they're gonna sign up for your email list. The other thing is that you need to put your uh, policy, your privacy policy here. If you don't have a privacy policy, then just connect, put the link to your um, About Us page or your contact page and put some sort of privacy policy on that page if you can. Very, really, really simple. If you don't have a separate page, just put your contact page and put a privacy policy on there. Um, and then all this is really straightforward. So if we go back up to the top, what type of event is it? It's gonna be online, click online, event name, just type the name in there, click, connect the time. Uh, I would uncheck this one, add end date. Don't have an end date and time. Just put the start date. You know, it. unless, you're, unless it's some sort of like, week-long challenge, uh, I don't think you need to put an end date. People will assume it's about an hour. That's, you know, the best thing to do. External event link. So this is the link that they're going to click on uh, when it's time for the event to join. I personally don't like putting the link here until about a week before, because if you have it up there, people will register and then click on it. And all, you know, the whole time that you're getting registrations, you're going to be getting notifications that people are going into your Zoom account or whatever it is. Um, so I leave it blank and then I'll come back and edit it the week of and put it in there. That works if you remember to put the link. So if you're not good at remembering or if that's just another layer you don't want to deal with, make sure you've got a, a link that you can put there and just be aware that people register and click it to be like, I, I don't know why they click it. They just do though. They always do. Um, uh, description. And then here is, you know, that's pretty straightforward. Just write, you know, this is who it's for. This is what it's all about. Maybe three to five bullet points. And then this last part here is really cool. So you can actually tag who's going to be speaking. So I could tag myself, right? And what's really cool about this here, let, let me show you. I'm gonna, so when you're done, when this is all filled out, you just push next and uh, it'll prompt you, hey, do you wanna do a post about this? It goes out from your business page, write something really quick, post it out, you'll be good to go. And that's all there is to it. But let me show you what this is. If we go to an event, um, yeah, discard that. Um, here we go. How to Forex your rates and land your clients. This is my current live event that I'm doing this month. If we scroll down, it's got the speakers here and now they can click on this and go see my profile. So this is a really cool feature where it's like, oh, they get to see, you know, the title of your event, the, the picture, 
they get to see, oh, this is what it's all about. And then if they're interested in learning more about you as the speaker, they click on that. It goes to your profile. It's it's a pretty cool uh, deal. So make sure that you tag yourself as the speaker. And speaking of which, this is what it looks like when you're all done. It should look something like this. And uh, it is really that simple. Okay, until next time, take some fast focus, imperfect action. We'll see you soon.